Hi, I'm Rob from B&H, and we're taking a look and a listen to four USB microphones that we think are solid choices for project and home studios. The models we're checking out are all fairly inexpensive, but still deliver very solid sound quality. All four of these side address cardioid mics make very solid choices for numerous applications, including podcasting, so let's put them to use while we shoot this video. So I've removed my lav mic, and now you're hearing me being mic'd by Rode's fairly new NT-USB microphone, which comes with a smartly designed pop filter and tabletop stand. Of course, like all the mics we're looking at today, you can use a traditional mic stand for vocals and instrument work. There's no input level control on the mic itself. Instead, you'll set the input level on your Mac or PC. If you monitor yourself through a computer when using a USB mic, the processing time introduces a delay, which can affect your timing. So like most most of the mics we're checking out today, the NT-USB has a headphone jack for latency-free monitoring, and these dials on the side control the headphone volume level and the blend of the mic and the music from your computer. The Rode NT-USB can record at rates of up to 16-bit, 48 kilohertz, and is also compatible with iOS devices if you use the right adapter. Next up, we're listening to the Audio-Technica AT2020 USB+. Plus. This is a very solid mic with similar controls to the Rode, headphone jack with volume and monitor blend dials. This mic is very popular with podcasters as it delivers a nice warm sound on vocal recordings. It doesn't come with a pop filter and the included stand is kind of flimsy, so you might consider buying the AT2020 USB Plus desktop pack kit, which includes a sturdy stand, pop filter, and reflection filter to reduce the room reflections common in a lot of home studios. Okay, so now you're hearing the Apogee Mic 96K. This newer 96K version keeps the nice compact design of the original, but bumps up the audio quality and now allows you to record at rates of up to 24-bit, 96 kilohertz. It also works with iOS devices and includes a lightning cable and tripod stand. The 96K version of the Apogee Mic still does not have a headphone jack for latency-free monitoring, though, so you may have to experiment with the buffer setting on your computer to get it low enough to minimize the latency without causing audio problems. The final mic you're hearing now is the X1 USB from SE Electronics. The X1 USB still has the same one inch gold spluttered diaphragm from the XLR version and features a true condenser element rather than the electret condenser element common to most USB microphones. That relatively large diaphragm delivers very solid sound for instrument and vocal recordings with a little presence boost in the upper frequencies and a nice solid bottom end as well. Rates of up to 24 bit, 192 kilohertz are possible, and is a 10 dB pad if you're miking loud sources, and a high pass filter to reduce low frequency rumbles. The X1 USB does not come with a stand, but a standard mic stand mount is included. So if you're looking for a solid but inexpensive USB microphone, consider putting one of these models on your wish list.